Today's Real Talk Tuesday is inspired by a TikTok that we did that's going viral. It was three things that we purchased that were a little bit pricey but were worth every penny. So we're expanding it on today's Real Talk Tuesday. <laughs> attention to the craziness behind me. My kids love to play in the dirt for some reason and it's everywhere. So we're expanding the idea and bringing it to you today with six things that we are so glad we have and we're worth every single penny that we spent on them. There's not a single sponsored product in our video. These are all things we bought with our own money and that we would totally buy again. And that if a brand should reach out to us, we would say, yeah, let's do a deal. We bring you real talk, the things that we really do enjoy. And if we do get a sponsorship, we'll let you know. And we'll tell you the truth about what we think about that product. I'm going to go in order of when we purchase them and some of the items we wish that we would have purchased them a long time ago. Okay, so the very first one is our generator. You know we boondock a lot. We have got the Champion Dual Fuel Generator. It's the 3400 series and it is fantastic. It is kind of falling apart at this point because we have put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours on this generator. For example, the start button doesn't work anymore. You definitely have to use the pull string to get it to work and you actually have to put it Pro, you have to start it on propane and then switch it to gasoline if you want to run gasoline. I don't know why, it's just wonky, okay? But it has been with us for three years and it has been put through the ringer. Um, it works like a champ. <laughs> it's called champion. It works like a champ. I'm not even kidding. It runs beautifully and it does its job. We don't have solar, so we rely on this generator. We spent, um, I think it was $900. We did get a sale on it so it was a big purchase and it was worth every single penny of it number two was not until way later and it was our macerator the macerator is amazing it <laughs> pumps out our poo <laughs> can i say poo it, <laughs> it pumps out our waste from our black or gray up into john's truck so that we don't have to haul the Schwagen all over the place. The Schwagen was another one, but I'm not leaving. I'm gonna, gonna leave that off this list. But it has been fabulous so that we don't have to haul that thing that's really, really heavy once it's full. We can just pump it up into the truck. I don't know, I don't remember how much we spent on it, so I'll just put that right here after I research it. So that was number two. And that actually was just last year that we purchased that. Almost a year ago exactly. It has been fabulous. The next thing is our batteries. We replaced our one acid lead 12 volt battery with two six volt golf cart batteries from Costco. They cost about $100 each, maybe $120 each. And we actually, that was after we had already replaced our 12 volt battery twice. Cause we're terrible and we let them run down too far and we went through batteries. But we haven't had any trouble. We bought those last year, one year ago, and they're still fabulous. We have not had any problems and we get a lot more time out of them. We'd love to have some Battleborns if they want to sponsor us. Okay, number four. No, right? Okay, number four is the ice maker. Uh, we purchased that, I don't know, nine months or so ago, and we put off for so long buying an ice maker because it was gonna take up counter space. And then we had this idea that we were gonna put it in our outdoor kitchen, which didn't work. Like we actually figured out we kind of like our outdoor kitchen how it is, so we didn't wanna tear it up. But it does sit on our counter in our RV and it does take up some counter space. But you guys, that's worth the real estate because having ice on hand is amazing. 
We do go through it quickly though, and especially when we're boondocking, it's, it gets interesting because it only runs when we have power. So when I turn the generator on, it's, it's making ice, and I watch it, and when it fills up with ice, I immediately dump it in a plastic bag and stick it in our freezer and then let it keep going. And at night, before I go to bed and we turn off the generator, I empty it out into whatever's left into a plastic bag and put it in the freezer. That way, when we're not running our power, we still have ice that we've created ourselves and don't have to go buy and don't have to put in an ice cube tray. Worth every penny of the $120 we spent on it. Number five is our fantastic fan. Our RV did not come with any kind of fantastic fan or max fan in it. It kind of works like an attic fan. It sucks air out. It's pushes air in, depending on which way you switch the fan blades. Some of them are super fancy and have a remote. Ours does not have a remote, although it came with one, but it doesn't work and it's not the right model for it. So I don't know why they sent us one. That was like a tease. We love the Fantastic Fan. It helps circulate air in our RV when it's warm outside. It also helps keep the temperature regulated a little bit if we have to leave Cinder inside our RV. Obviously out here in the desert, if it's gonna be a warm day, we're not gonna leave Cinder in the RV by herself because it's gonna heat up super fast. But in mild temperatures, it does do a really good job of keeping that air circulation going and kicking on if it gets too hot. And the last product that we purchased the most recent thing that we purchased is the RV latchet lock. Oh, I forgot to lock my rig. We're good. This thing is awesome. It was supposed to go in our last episode, but it got a little bit too long in that episode to include it. So I'm gonna put it in this one because I cannot believe we went so long without having one of these. It has a key fob on it so that I can open and, and lock it and unlock it with the click of a button, which for you pack mule mamas, you know, you get out of that car with one load of all your groceries because you don't want to make multiple trips and you're loaded up and you, you have to go unlock your door. Well, now you can just unlock it with a button, which is amazing. Also, it has a keypad on it so our kids know the, the code and they can get in and out of it if they need to. And it comes with an actual key if all else fails and you just need to use the key to open it up. It does run off a of battery, so I, I assume that someday I'll need to change the batteries and that key will come in handy. I'm really glad that we purchased it. As you guys know from our last episode, we had kind of a safety scare in our RV while we were boondocking and so we actually replaced the lock after that happened um, and also after my kids broke the latch had to be replaced anyway so why not upgrade right super awesome it also has a keypad there we were reached out to by another RV lock company that we turned down because it just wasn't a good fit but this one we purchased from Latchet it is heavy duty this thing is made of metal you know my kids they're rough with everything we didn't want any plastic pieces it's 100 percent metal which means it's super duty and kid kid resistant Woo. it's dusty oh it's dust resistant by the way which is a really good thing out here huh the keypad is backlit so you can see the numbers at night if you need to use the keypad and it's owned by a small business a family-owned small business right here in the united states I can even click the button from inside my car, which is pretty awesome, but Ethan needs to get inside, so. There you go, bud. Thank you. You're welcome. The latch was uh, $200, I think, and eventually we'd love to get latches for our cargo bays and one for our other door as well. So latch it if you want to sponsor us, that'd be great. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. Anybody else's kids do this? Like all the time. I took away the electronics. And this is what they do now. But you guys, we do love these products and we enjoy bringing you things that actually work in your RV, things, ideas for you, for things that will make things a little bit easier for you because RVing can be rough sometimes. And so whatever conveniences that you can gear yourself up with, the easier your life is gonna be inside the RV. And the more time you can go explore other places. And the ice maker, the RV latch, and the fantastic fan we wish we would have done it in the very beginning thank you for watching today we hope that you've enjoyed this quick real talk Tuesday this weekend we get to take you to Flagstaff with us for our ski trip so I'm excited to show you that thanks again for watching subscribe like follow all the things go check us out on TikTok, and we'll see you out there oh a nice tea sounds really good right now hey guys where's the ice